the interest in and the awareness of using ketosis and fasting as a modality for both moving us away from chronic illness, but also towards improved health and wellness continues to grow year after year. The question is, is there a combined synergistic effect between using ketosis and fasting with hyperbaric oxygen? Today's video is gonna cover that topic. I believe that our total level of health is directly related to our ability to adapt. And the more we can challenge our body to get a little bit stressed, heal and recover, get a little bit stressed, heal and recover, and we could do that using so many different tools and modalities. We can use that using temperature, ice baths, sauna. We could use that with oxygen levels, high oxygen levels, low oxygen levels. We can do that using metabolic flexibility by changing our diets periodically over time. Two food plans that have really grown in popularity recently would be using ketosis and fasting. What are some of the benefits of using ketosis and fasting? Well, ketosis is really a fasting mimicking diet for the most part. With ketosis, what happens is you have to remove enough carbohydrate so that your cells really can't live off of glucose. Of all the macronutrients, carbohydrate, fat, and protein, your body primarily uses glucose or carbohydrate and fat as its fuel sources. So if you remove glucose as a fuel, you no longer eat enough carbohydrate to run your cells, your body will transition itself into a fat-burning state. That fat-burning state will convert a lot of different fat molecules into different types of energy, one of which would be considered to be ketones. So nutritional ketosis is the process of getting your body running on ketones. It's a way to create metabolic flexibility, and it's certainly a way to get your body off running glucose as its main source of fuel and really using fat for fuel instead of sugar. Generally speaking, your body really needs to be encouraged in order to go into a fat-burning state. Glucose is a much easier molecule to burn. As a result of using sugar and glucose as your primary fuel source, it's a dirtier burn and it's less efficient. You make less energy from burning glucose and you make more waste products that start to build up inside your system. Using fat as your primary fuel, you can create much higher levels of energy using fat and it's a much cleaner burn, much less waste products as a result. Glucose metabolism, can be done partially with oxygen and partially without oxygen. Meanwhile, fat burning requires oxygen for every step of that process. What that means for us is that if we drive high levels of oxygen into your cells, we can help to establish a metabolism that is much more strongly in favor of fat metabolism and ketone metabolism and shift your cells even further away from glucose metabolism. So is there synergy between fasting and ketosis and hyperbaric? Yes, of course. So we know that metabolic flexibility is going to improve your health over time. And again, whether that's because we have some sort of illness or disease that we're trying to move away from, or because we're really just trying to optimize our well-being, by using ketosis and fasting as a tool for periods of time throughout our life, we are going to drive metabolic flexibility. By using hyperbaric periodically, over time, we are going to drive our cells into a much higher level of fat burning and a much higher percentage of ATP production because we can improve mitochondrial efficiency. So of course there's synergy between those two modalities because each one individually is driving cellular metabolism in a certain direction. If ketosis and fasting is driving cellular metabolism in this direction and hyperbaric is also driving cellular metabolism in that direction. Together, once they combine, they can really push cellular metabolism and metabolic flexibility very strongly in the direction of improved ATP production through improved mitochondrial efficiency. When it comes to ketosis and fasting, my recommendations would be very varied. But what I would say is this, for the most part, if any one of us are just eating whatever we want, whenever we want, we're most likely going to expect some health consequences as a result of that. And so really what we do is we structure multiple, you know, four to five different food plans over the course of a year that need to rotate in order to help create the metabolic flexibility that we all need and, or that we're looking for from the standpoint of improved health. When it comes to the fasting, whether that's intermittent fasting or block fasting, like one day, two days, three days, five days, seven days, you know, water fasts, you know, all different kinds of fasting, any one of them 
is going to work synergistically with hyperbarics. Because as soon as you start to remove food and start running your body on body fat as your main fuel source, that alone will help upregulate mitochondrial function. So between that and the increase in oxygen, you're certainly going to still have those synergistic effects. So that being said, having a rotational diet you know, that changes over the course of a year and mixing in hyperbaric periodically at certain phases, you know, there's ways to create maximum benefit when you're using this multi-therapeutic approach to health and wellness. At the end of the day, you should be working with somebody who understands all the details around that. And that person should help guide you as to figure when should I be doing which piece of this puzzle and for how long over what period of time. That's how you're gonna ensure getting the best results. I hope this helps answer the question of the synergy between hyperbaric oxygen and fasting and ketosis. As always, thanks again for your attention and we'll see you next week for the next video.